when, when the movie actually came out, <coughs> the first time you watched it, were you able to actually enjoy it or were you looking at it in a different lens because you were there at that time? Man. <sighs> I was so excited. I was happy to get through the security, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> the security for the movie, I thought I was going to see Obama or some shit, man. Damn, like that, huh? Security for Straight Outta Compton was some of the tightest shit I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Okay? I mean, people was lying. You had to line up over here, line up over here, come to this point, check, checkpoint. You got a ticket. Okay, it's that over here. Come over, you got to search you. And come over here. And it was like, no, they, I mean, they had like three or four different checkpoints. Okay? And then um, my partner, who, who I rolled with, he, uh, he, 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 he always specializes in playing past security. This is Lonzo Williams. He's in the movie. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. So they say, I know. Because yeah. Yeah. you're not going to do that. I don't see you doing that. I, I, I'm I Lonzo Williams. Do that, okay? Now, yeah. somebody else can do it. I'll, I'll, I'll roll with you. Yeah. But that's not, yeah, that's not, I'll, I'll do that shit for you. you I don't okay. see you doing that. Mm. We, we did the same thing at, uh, at um, F when Ice Cube got his... Uh, Got his walk of fame. This is Alonzo Williams. He, he discovered Ice Cube. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. And he been in here, okay? Threaten you, you might lose your job by then him in here. But I can't hear my Alonzo Williams. No, no, no. That, that don't even feel right. But anyway, man, um, when I saw the movie, man, and I saw my character, uh, I remember the scenes that I was there to, to, uh, to be a part of. And it was cool. It was cool. And it's like, it's, it's, it reminded me, and I think about this now. I think about, um, like I said before, about record contracts. Somebody give you a record, record contract, the first few months, you all cloud dying, you all happy. But then I see how people interpret the movie, people who don't know interpret the movie. And then you realize, not, not really the damage, it wasn't damaging, but it just was, if I wasn't around to tell the truth, it would be a lot worse for me, okay? If I wasn't blessed to be able to sit here six years later and talk about the movie, people would have had that, 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 was, that was Lonzo's get out. I've had arguments with the cats about, man, how you gonna not hate on, how you gonna hate on hip hop? Okay, <laughs> let's, let's do some math for a minute. What the whole lot of hip hop, first of all, in 1984? What wasn't, wasn't that much hip hop? Okay. Mm -hmm. There was some. And it damn sure wasn't no gangster hip hop. I think the best we had, we might have had at that time, we might have had, we, I had to ask unknown, we might have had six in the morning. Okay. Yeah. I think that was eight, or 84, 83 ish, 84. We might have had iced tea six in the morning. Yeah. Maybe Spoonie G, I think, from Philadelphia. Okay, we might have had Spoony G, which Ice T lifted the whole thing from that right there. You got to, you got to hear it to check it out. Uh, and we might have had, I don't know when we had Battle Ram. Mix, that, um, uh, Mix that was, yeah. was yeah, doing that was eighty five, huh? That was eighty five, I believe. Okay, so Dudos was cracking in eighty five, eighty six. Looking it up. Doodles was cracking in 85, 86. Um, I was 27 years old and I was doing Doodles. Yes, yeah, I still lived on I still lived in my old house on Carlton. Um I think, let's do the math for a second for a second. Okay. I'm doing doodles, I'm 26, 27, right? I'm 12 years old than Nice Cube is. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm 27. How old was Ice Cube? Or take, take away 12. How old was Ice Cube? 15. He wasn't at Dudos. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he wasn't at Dudos. Damn. <laughs> and to a person like me, wouldn't even catch that. But see, you watch it as, you're watching this movie in a different lens. I watch it through a whole different lens. He wasn't at Dudos. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, Jinx may have been there because Dre was there. Okay. Ice Cube. 
I don't remember, I don't remember him being a dude else. That's funny. And I tell you what, I tell you what, he damn sure did not do a gangster rap at Dudos. That would not have cracked. Mm. Understand this: we had not gotten, we had not gotten our major deal yet, right? Okay. We got our major record deal in 86, 87, 80, 86. They were still doing "She's a Skag." They hadn't done "She's a Skag" yet. They had. They were still doing uh, uh, the first. They did, no, they, did, she, did, they did "She's a Skag" on the CBS album for the CBS project, and then they came back. To, uh, we got dropped from CBS. They came back with the uh, CIA um, EP. That was way after Dudos. Why wasn't no gangster rap on that shit? They were sound like the Beastie Boys. Mm. Okay. People, you got to take a listen to what, listen at the timeline. Look, when when he came out, he came out, first of all, it was She's a Scag. That was the first record he ever made. Then they came out with the EP on Crew Cut Records, the CIA crew, uh, crew in action, okay? And that was a straight Beastie Boys knockoff. Yep. Okay? Okay, straight Beastie Boys knockoff. It wasn't until a year uh, maybe two later, they came out with the, uh, they decided to go to the NWA route. Yeah. Yeah. Do the numbers. The numbers ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Okay? That's the beauty of being here and able to re uh, retroactively, what they call that? Uh, retro engineer the history. The history okay? of time, yeah. The timeline. Understand the timeline. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I ain't I know his mama. He was not doing gangster rap at fit he was not cussing at 15 years old. It ain't gonna happen. Cube, no, no, it ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Now what did happen, and I got I saw one of the records in my studio in my garage. I'm gonna look it look it up. Gene said made a song called Fuck All Them Holes. Okay. And it was Jinx, strictly strictly Jinx, fuck all them holes. And it was on crew, one of my one of my subsidiary labels I put out, and uh, when I played that record, at, Dre played that record at Dudos. I got jammed up by my security team, okay. And my, my security, all my security at Dudos was off duty cops, and one of them was super cool, but he also said, "Lonzo, don't make me do my job." What are you talking about? That song you guys just played, "Fuck All Them Holes" for all these kids. I can arrest you right now for uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Mm -hmm. okay. It was serious. Keep in mind, kids, this is the 80s. It's serious. This is serious. This New, two Live Crew damn near went to jail for releasing some shit in 1992. So this is probably five, seven, eight years prior. Right. So you're talking about Dudos. See, Eve After Dark and Dudos mm -hmm. do, do different two different venues. Mm -hmm. Eve After Dark was 18 and up. Mm -hmm. Okay? For the most part. I could let you in at 17 if I want to, but I wanted I, I wanted more of a Soul Train vibe. I didn't want the rumper room, okay? Mm -hmm. I wanted more Soul Train and no rumper room, okay? When I got to do those, do those held 2,000 people. So, I and according to my permit, I could let them in at 14, okay? And as coming from, coming from Compton and being a, a recipient of all the team dances that happened at Capanella Park, Gonzalez Park, and all the stuff was going on in St. Albert's and Regina Chetty, 14 years old, I know they can they can do it, but that was Compton. So to keep kids safe, I had police there, and again, police took that shit very serious. And to play an X-rated song in front of them kids was a major no-no. My, my guards and I'm paying, talking about taking me to jail, we're playing an X-rated song in front of some kids. And that's when I got on Dre's ass about not, but what about no gangster rap, but about that fuck all them hoes that got me jammed about uh, some bitch I'm paying. Damn. And I know in 2021, every third song is called Fuck All Them Hoes, but this is, this is a song. different time, guys. This is a different time. I know we, we're, we're kind of going to wrap it up, but I have to hear this story. Um, speaking of explicit songs, I don't even know if it's explicit or if you guys were doing some tongue-in-cheek type of stuff, but um, if you can finish the, uh, ask, a, answer this question, then we'll finish off. Anthony Holmes says, Lonzo, you put out a record called Gang Bang with the Wrecking Crew in 85. 
I did. So called gangbang. Okay. What well, was that like? Like a tongue in cheek type thing, or talk to me about that. It was, it was a gangbang. You're dead. You're lying in the streets. Gangbang. Fifteen years oh, old. Okay. You're a cold piece of meat. Gangbang. Oh, so some real shit. You were talking some real shit. Tell me, fellas, what you gonna do? Gangbang when the corner puts the bag on you. We was anti gangbang. Okay. We was anti gangbang. It was. It was. We played the song after uh, uh, what people did for money. Okay. Uh, okay. Gang bang, uh, gang bang, you're dead, you're lying in the street. Gang bang, 15 years old and just a cold piece of meat. Gang bang, tell me, fellas, what you gonna do? Gang bang, when the corner puts the tag on you. That was the whole boy. There it is. Oh, the fast joint, too, huh? Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me, let me get, let me get it. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out after the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was our first album. Yeah, Kick we did the game shit, okay. game. We, I've always been anti game bang. I ain't mm-hmm. changed. I ain't changed. Mm-hmm. Money don't change me like that. What can I tell you? I'm stupid. Uh, I'm, stuck, I'm stuck on stupid. I could have uh, sold man, that a long time ago, but I'm gonna hold out. Do you know what? This you're gonna enjoy the last, you know, thirty years of your life. You know. Um, reaping the benefits of what you're doing now trust me man I, I, you're gonna get you're gonna get your props due and everybody's gonna know lonzo how they should 